Hello, I'm Ron Marenchin, Coordinator of Music Ministries at Trinity Lutheran Church. Let us use together the responsive prayer found on page 161 in the Green Lutheran Book of Worship, page 161. It is similar to the page 328 in the red ELW, 328 in the Red Book. Let us begin. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. Let us pray the prayer that our Lord has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us confess the faith which we hold in common, using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, I cry to you for help. In the morning my prayer comes before you. Give me the joy of your saving help again and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Every day will I bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Awesome things will you show us in your righteousness. O God of our salvation, O hope of all the ends of the earth and of the seas that are far away. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. He redeems my life from the grave and crowns me with mercy and loving kindness. Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come before you. Today we begin the month of May, a month that we hope and pray will begin the process of reopening our civic life. Let us read a portion of Psalm 112 and ponder the value of honest labor. Praise the Lord. Happy are those who fear the Lord, who greatly delight in his commandments. Their descendants will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in their houses, and their righteousness endures forever. They rise in the darkness as a light for the upright. They are gracious, merciful, and righteous. It is well with those who deal generously and lend, who conduct their affairs with justice. For the righteous will never be moved. They will be remembered forever. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. God, we pray today for those among us who own businesses and for those who work in the private sector. We pray that with the psalmist they may delight in your commandments, deal with others generously, and conduct their affairs with grace, mercy, and righteousness. We pray for their spiritual direction and needs and their relationships with you, the source of life and all goodness and wisdom. 
We pray for their personal lives and for the welfare of their families as they deal with and try to keep in balance the many commitments, constraints, and challenges of daily life. We pray for your wisdom in their work that basing their uh, righteous dealings with employees and the community on your word and your will, they might be blessed in their labors, be a beacon to our community, and be established in the generation of the upright. We ask this according to the promises you have made to your people, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. O God, our shepherd, you know your sheep by name and lead us to safety through the valleys of death. Guide us by your voice that we may walk in certainty and security to the joyous feast prepared in your house. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, source of all life, health, and healing, look with compassion on our world, brought low by disease. Protect us in the midst of the grave challenges that assail us, and in your fatherly providence grant recovery to the stricken, strength to those who care for them, and success to those working to eradicate this surge. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all danger and harm. We ask you to preserve and keep us, this day also, from all sin and evil, that in all our thoughts, words, and deeds we may serve and please you, Into your hands we commend our bodies and souls and all that is ours. Let your holy angels have charge of us, that the wicked one have no power over us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty order our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen.